Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the different ways to format a hard drive on Windows 11. On Windows, formatting an internal or external hard drive is straightforward and essential for many reasons. For example, when connecting a new drive to your computer, it is recommended to erase all the data and apply a compatible file system. This enables the operating system to correctly read and write to the storage. Also, it is recommended to reformat a new drive to ensure that it's clean and it is free from viruses and other types of malware. If you're retiring a storage drive, formatting also makes sure that your files are erased, preventing unauthorized access to that information. Additionally, the ability to format a drive on Windows 11 can fix errors and other logical issues. While the process might be tedious, Windows 11 offers several methods to format a drive. Okay, let's dive into the different ways to format an internal and external hard drive on Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, method one, formatting a drive using the settings app. If the drive already has a partition on it, here is how to format it. First, open start and look for settings and then open the app. Then let's go to system, storage, and then we are going to open the disks and volumes page. Now, select the drive that you want to format and then I'm going to click on this property button. Then click the format button. Then choose a label for this value. Let's just call it files. Then choose the file system, which in this case is NTFS. Now for allocation unit size, use the default option selected. And if the drive is working correctly and you are planning to keep that drive, make sure to check the perform a quick format option. Otherwise, if the drive has issues or you're planning to get rid of that drive, make sure to clear this option. Now, the difference between the quick and a full format are as following. The quick format, as the name suggests, it is fast. It only takes a few seconds to complete. It doesn't actually erase the data. Instead, it removes the pointers that tells your computer where the files are located. This makes the files inaccessible, but they can still be recovered if special software is used. Usually, you will use this option when you plan to reuse the drive for yourself and you don't need to worry about data recovery. Now, if we clear this option, then you're going to perform a full format. It is much slower than a quick format and it can take several hours, depending on the size and speed of the drive. Now, when you use this option, it overwrites the data with zeros, making it much harder to recover. It also scans for bad sectors and marks them so they won't be used in the future. Now, the best use for this option will be when you're disposing the drive or you want to ensure that all data is completely erased. Also, it's a good idea to use the full format if you suspect that the drive has errors. Now, you can also enable the file and folder compression that basically it will use compression to reduce the size of the file or folder at the storage level. However, this option is rarely used. Once you're ready to format the drive, just click the format button. Now, if the drive doesn't have a partition, here's what you do. Open start and look for settings. And then let's go to the disks and volumes page. Then select the drive and it will probably look like this. In here, open this menu and select the Trade Simple Volume. Choose a label for the drive, which is how it's going to appear on File Explorer and across the operating system. Let's just call this data. Choose a drive letter that is not already being used on the system. Usually the default is okay to use on a particular drive. Then select the file system. And here's where you can set the size of the partition. So the main purpose of this video is to format a drive. So we're going to use the entire space to create a partition. So we can click on advanced and here you can use different options. Usually you don't have to use them. Once you're ready, click the format button. And as you can see right here on the drive, we have a partition created and it has been formatted with the NTFS file system. Method two, formatting a drive using File Explorer. So first open File Explorer and open the this PC page. Then right click on the drive and select the format option. And here I can show you how the different file system are available. You can see that this drive is about 20 gigabytes and this one is about 60 gigabytes. So I'm going to right click on this one and I also going to choose a format option. And as you can see, the one that is less than 32 gigabytes has the option to set the FAT32 file system. And this one that has more than 32 gigabytes only has the NTFS file system as an option. So here, decide the file system that you want to use. Usually, if this drive is going to be used for Windows, 
use NTFS. You can also use the FAT32, but only use it if you want to make this drive compatible with other operating systems such as macOS, or if you have a specific case where you need to use the file system. For the allocation unit size, just use the default option, choose a label, and make sure that if you keep in the drive and the drive is working correctly, just check the quick format option and then click the start button. Confirm that you're going to delete all the data on that particular drive. And now the drive has been formatted. Now, it is important to note that when using File Explorer, you can only use a format option if you have a drive with an existing partition. If the drive doesn't have a partition already set, it won't show up in File Explorer and you will have to use different methods, such as the one that I showed you previously using the settings app. Method three, formatting a drive using disk management. And to use the legacy disk management tool, open star and look for disk management and click on create and format hard disk partitions. Then if the drive already has a partition, select the partition on the drive, right click on it and choose the format option. From here, choose a label for that volume, select the file system, use the default option for allocation unit size. Also make sure to check the perform a quick format if everything is working correctly and you're planning to keep the drive. The enable file and for the compression, that's optional. And then click OK. Confirm that all the data will be destroyed on that drive. And now the drive has been formatted with the NTFS file system in this case. Now, if the drive doesn't have an existing partition, we can also use the disk management tool to format it. And to do this, open star and look for disk management. Click the top result to open the app. Make sure to select the correct drive and right click on the unallocated space and choose the new simple volume option. Click next. Here you can specify the size for that volume. Usually you want to use the entire disk to create a partition and then click next. Make sure to check the assign the following drive letter option and select a drive letter for that drive and then click next. Here make sure to choose this option and in here select the file system and in this particular interface we're able to choose between two different file system NTFS and the XFAT. If this is an internal drive and you're only going to use it for Windows or if it is an external drive and you only planning to use this on Windows, make sure to choose NTFS. Now, if you wanted to make it compatible with another operating system, such as macOS, you can select the X fat option. For the allocation unit size, leave it as a default. Here you can choose the value name. In this case, I'm just going to name it data. Check the perform a quick format. If you're planning to keep the drive and it's working correctly, if you're having issues or you plan to dispose this drive, make sure to clear the option. Then click next and then click finished. And that's it. Now, if we go to file explorer, we can see that we have the drive formatted and it's already available from this experience. We can right click on it and select properties. We can see the size and the file system. Method for formatting a drive using command prompt with it, this part command line tool. To start, open the start menu and look for command prompt. Right click the top result and select the run as demonstrator option. First, we're going to type disk part and press enter. Now we're going to use the list disk command and press enter. Here, identify the drive that you want to format. In my particular case, I'm going to select the disk zero, but make sure that you select the correct one. Otherwise you might delete data on the incorrect drive, which can cause data loss. I'm going to select that drive by using the select disk and the number that corresponds to the disk and then press enter. Now I'm going to type the clean command and press enter. Now we're going to use the create partition primary command and press enter. Now to select the partition that we just created, we're going to use the select partition one and press enter. Now we're going to use this command to set the partition as active. Now we're going to use this command to format the drive using the quick option. And here you can specify the file system that you want. You can use the X FAT, FAT32 or MTFS. If you don't include the quick option, it will perform a full format. Now we're going to use this command to assign the X letter. Here you can always change X for the drive letter that you want to use for that particular drive and press enter. And then we're going to exit the tool. So now if we open File Explorer and then we go to this PC, we should be able to find the newly formatted drive. Method five, formatting a drive using PowerShell. Open the start menu and look for PowerShell or the terminal. Going to look for the terminal. 
and I'm going to run it as an administrator. Then I'm going to open a PowerShell console. First, we're going to run the get disk command. On the output, make sure to identify the number for the drive that you want to format. In my case, I want to format drive zero. And first, I'm going to clean the drive and I'm going to use this command. And in here, I'm going to specify the drive that I want to select. Make sure that you're choosing the correct drive because this command will erase everything on that partition. Type A and press enter. Now we're going to type this command to initialize the disk and specify the correct number for the drive, in this case, zero. It is important to note that when using PowerShell, the default settings will be to create a partition style using GPT. Now, if you need to use MBR, you have to use this command instead of this one. And in here, make sure to change the number for the number that identifies the drive that you want to work with. Then we're going to type this command. This command will create a new partition on the drive that we specify, in this case, zero. This switch will actually use the entire space for the drive to create a partition. Here's where we're going to format the volume and here where you can change the file system. For this video, I'm using NTFS, but you can change it to FAT32 or EXFAT. And then we're going to use this switch to specify a drive name. In this case, I'm simply assigning the My Drive label for that specific drive and then press enter. And finally, we want to run this command to actually assign the drive letter for the new partition that has been formatted. So make sure to change the disk number right here that identifies your drive and make sure to use a drive letter that is not already in use, in this case, H, and then press enter. Now the drive letter has been assigned and it's now accessible. Now for full transparency, when recording this video, I had an issue with a computer just in the last command. So I switched to another computer and now the disk number has switched from zero to one because of the different set of drives on that particular drive. And that's how you format a hard drive on Windows 11. Whether you prefer using the settings app, file explorer, disk management or command prompt and even PowerShell, there is a method for everyone. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.